In this video, we're going to show you how to create custom permalinks without affecting your SEO. Permalinks are the permanent URLs of your individual blog posts and pages and other pages on your site. And generally speaking, they should be easy for both humans and search engines to understand. Now to change the URL scheme for your entire site, you'll need to go to your admin sidebar, hover your mouse over settings, and then click on permalinks. Now once you're there, you can select a URL structure for your individual post using the tags that are shown on the screen. For your URLs to be user and SEO friendly, use the option that places a post name in the URL. But just keep in mind that changing the permalinks for an existing site can affect your SEO rankings. But if you've just created a new site, then you should use this SEO friendly permalink structure right from the start. WordPress uses category as a base for your category URLs and tag for the tag pages. If you want to change these default values, you'll need to go to settings and then permalinks and enter your new prefixes. Once you've finished, just be sure to click Save Changes. Now you can take this a step further by also changing the URL slugs for individual posts, pages, and custom post types right inside your WordPress content editor. Once you've created a new post or page, just click on the URL slug in the permalink meta box, then change the URL slug to a custom permalink. And once you're done, click on the Update button to save the new permalink. Now to change URL keywords for an individual category or tag, you'll need to go to your admin sidebar, posts, and then to categories. And once you're there, click on edit under the category that you'd like to customize. Now from here, you can change the category slug to customize its permalink and click the update button to save your changes. You can also use the same steps to edit individual tags. WordPress will automatically create an author page URL for your different authors on your site. WordPress really doesn't give you the option to change the author URL base or the slug, but you can use a WordPress plugin like Edit Author Slug to customize your links. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll just need to go to Users and then head to the All Users page on your admin sidebar. Now click on the Edit link right below the username and scroll down to the Edit Author Slug. Now here you'll be able to choose an author slug or add your own in the custom box. Just don't forget to click the Update User button to save your settings. If you'd like to change the author permalink base, just go to Settings and then Edit Author Slug. Then you're going to see an option to change the author base and choose different author bases for users with different user roles. If you'd like a few more details about this, be sure to see the link in the description to our guide on how to change author URL slug and base in WordPress. Now, the methods we've shown you so far allow you to customize WordPress permalinks to a certain extent, but they really won't help you create completely custom permalinks. That's because WordPress by default doesn't offer that functionality. But you can use the custom permalinks plugin to override the default WordPress URL structure. Once you've installed and activated a plugin, you'll just need to open the post where you'd like to create a custom permalink. Then create a custom permalink using the option below the editor in the custom permalink box. You can also create custom permalinks for categories by going to Posts and then Categories and clicking on the Edit link right below the category that you'd like to change. On the Category Details page, you can find the option to create a custom permalink for that particular category. In fact, you can even create a URL without the category base prefix. To manage or disable all your custom permalinks by navigating to Custom Permalinks, then post type permalinks in the admin sidebar. Then simply select the custom permalinks you'd like to delete and click on the bulk actions drop down to choose the delete permalinks option. After that, just click on the apply button and the plugin is going to remove those custom permalinks. The deleted permalinks are going to be replaced by the default WordPress permalink scheme. You can also use this plugin to manage and bulk delete your taxonomy permalinks. To do that, just go to custom permalinks, taxonomies, and follow the same steps. Now, making changes to your permalink structure can create 404 errors. To fix that, you'll need to set up permalink redirects from your old permalinks to the new permalinks that you've created. Now, the easiest way to do that is by using the All-in-One SEO plugin. The All-in-One SEO plugin has a powerful redirection manager add-on and allows you to manage and create new permalink redirects from your WordPress dashboard. And if you're using Monster Insights, you can easily see what your most popular links are right on your WordPress dashboard as well. Once you've installed and activated a plugin, all you have to do is go to your admin sidebar, hover your mouse over Insights, and then Reports. Now scroll down to the Overview Report and view the top posts and pages. And if you need even more details, you can just click on the View Full Page Post Report. And that's it for this video. Now you don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price. So be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.